Hello all and welcome to this walkthrough for how to phenotype and genotype cats for your assignment 10. Let's dive in. The key two parts to assignment 10. First one is your raw data in Word, in which case you're going to show the location and then you're going to put in your 30 cats, uh, 1 through 30 for each location, so 60 total. You're going to have their name, their sex, and a picture. Resize the picture so it's reasonable. The next part is we're going to take those pictures and put in their genotypes in Excel. Okay, so we're going to have two tables, one for each location again, and we're going to um, go through and genotype them. And that's what I'm going to explain here uh, for those four loci, hair length, um, uh, whether or not they're fully white, spotting, and orange, which are the ones we can tell easily on site. Okay. So first one up is hair length. For short hair, we have uh, it's the dominant gene, so you'll put that as a capital H underscore. And then for long hair, that's the recessive traits. So that's the two alleles of um, the little h. Okay. Next, we have white. If the cat is completely white, this is the like albino gene here, it's uh, actually a dominant trait, and that's a capital W. And we don't know what the other um, allele is. Anything other than solid white is uh, two little w's, the recessive trait here. So this gene, this particular all white gene masks orange and spotting completely. So you would put a question mark for both of those since you don't know what they are. So spotting is about the movement of melanocytes, the pigment producing cells away from the dorsal ridge of the embryo during embryonic development. So um, over on the, you can see the picture here, how we have a full colored cat with full pigment has um, no alleles for the spotting gene. So that's the homozygous recessive is a cat with full pigment. Um, if you're heterozygous, if you have one copy of this spotting allele, then you have a little bit of white. You, you still have greater than 50% pigment, but you also have, you have a little bit of the white coloration there. Once you get to two copies of the white spotting allele, you still have some pigment somewhere on the cat, but the majority of the cat is white, so over 50%. If it's ex do your best guess if it's under 50% or over 50% white pigment. Okay. So for example here, um, over on the left, we've got a little calico there, that little spots of color, but mostly white. So that's our um, homozygous dominant S. Uh, in the middle, we've got a little tabby that's got some white on the tummy. Okay, a little bit of white spotting, so they're heterozygous. And then on the right, we have a fully pigmented, no white spots, no clear white spots. Uh, and that would be our homozygous recessive. Okay. Now we have orange. Okay, so the orange locus determines whether or not the melanin is like dark black or whether the uh, melanin is more of an orangey color, phenomelanin. So it's sex linked. This occurs on the X chromosome. We've only got one copy for this in males. Uh, the dominant color is uh, dominant is orange, and then the black, brown, gray allele is recessive. Okay, so females could be homozygous uh, dominant heterozygous or homozygous recessive, but males are hemizygous for this. They can only have either one copy of the orange allele or one copy of the black allele. Okay, So little guy on the left here is the orange. Okay, if he's male, if it's a female, then we'd put that actually as the homozygous dominant. Uh, the middle picture, if male, this would be one copy of the little o, the recessive allele, and the Y chromosome. If it's a female, then we give them uh, both uh, homozygous recessive there. And then over on the right, we have a cute little calico who also has a spotting gene going on there, but she has a copy of the orange allele and a copy of the black allele. And due to X inactivation, it's a random draw as to which parts of her body got which parts of those, which alleles inactivated during development. Okay, so filling out the chart, we'll use my three cats as an example, Calvin, Biff, and Inga, all boys. Okay, yeah, Inga is a boy. He was very fluffy when we got him and then his balls dropped, okay? So your chart's gonna look like this. Name, sex, length, white, spotting, and orange. So let's see our first cat. Calvin, male. Hair length, short hair something. So we put in our capital H underscore. Definitely not an all white cat. So he's a homozygous recessive for that. Um, for spotting, nope, he's fully orange. So he has the homozygous recessive for that as well. And then for his orange allele, he's got a capital O. And then we put the Y chromosome to just denote that there isn't a allele on that. Okay. For Biff, say he's male again, he's short hair. He's not fully white. For the spotting, he is um, 
mostly pigmented with a good amount of white. So I gave him the, the heterozygous there. And then for orange, he does not producing the orange pigment. He's producing black pigment. So he got the little O with the Y. And then Inga, finally, uh, male, long hair, very fluffy. Uh, he's got homozygous recessive for the hair length, uh, also not fully white. He is fully pigmented, all black all over, so he gets the two little S's. And then, like Biff, he has also got the black pigment, so he gets the little O with the Y. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please post in the Discord chat, and we will um, help you out if you can't, cats you can't figure out. All right, see you later.